Well, it's a nice sunny morning, a little bit of cloud around. Uh, it should be mostly sunny today. We're on a bit of a mission to uh, Albany to pick up some bits and pieces. I've got to um, replace the timing belt in this Hilux. And um, I've already got the starter motor. The starter motor is a little bit clicky. <coughs> so I've picked up another starter motor. I'm kind of in two minds as to whether it's the. I think it's the battery though. <laughs> it's. Um, I know the battery is not 100%. I was trying to work out the date on the battery, and I think it could be about five years old. So you kind of expect a five-year-old battery to be not so good. <clears throat> but what happens is, I can, sometimes I got to hit the key a few times to get it to start. You hear it, hear a click, nothing happens. Um, so yesterday I got my uh, uh, fold up solar panel and spread it out, plug it into the, into the car battery and give it a charge up. And uh, I've got a load tester at home and uh, load tested it and the way I read the load tester is it's, uh, it had good voltage when it, before I did the test, but when I did the load test on it, it showed it's been weak for the, the size battery it is. Uh, there we go, we've got the parts. Now we're going to get out of town. Here's the goodies. Timing belt. <coughs> Starter motor. And some degreaser. That should keep me busy for a little bit. Okay, we've uh, haven't touched the starter yet. Just sitting in here. Oh, we got a new starter motor. I haven't done that. I've done the done the oil change, and uh, I'm just working on the timing bolt at the moment. Tensioner, hydraulic, sorry, hydraulic tensioner, pulley, uh, seals, which I don't think I need, and there's the belt. There's the belt, with the famous timing marks on it. So, yeah. And we've got stuff lined up here, ready to go. The manual says pull the radiator out, pull the intercooler out, pull everything out. But if you're a little bit patient, you can actually get those bolts out and not worry about it. So I'm just going to undo the tensioner, take the tensioner pulley out, just the um, tensioner under there. I, that looks like a hydraulic tensioner on it. Um, I was expecting a spring tensioner, but anyway, pull that out and then take the belt off. Put the new belt on. Put the tension will pull you back in there. All right. I think everything's done. Kick her in the guts and see what happens. <laughs> Beautiful. It's almost like I knew what I was doing. I don't. It's not as easy as back then. Can't see any issues. I had trouble with this. I fucking hate this. It's, uh, it's a fuel filter. It takes a um, an insert inside this bloody ink. There's a ring which you've got to undo that way. It's a prep. It is, every time I go to change the filter, it's a real bugger to get this ring undone. And I'm going to break it at some point. So what I'd like to do is modify it and just have a screw-on canister type filter. Uh, I'll have to look into that a bit. Oil filter. 
changed the gear still because that was still looking really good. So um, I've changed the cabin. The cabin thought it was looking worse than the engineer thought it. So all good. It's a beautiful day. A little cloud, sun, breeze. I don't know what the temperature is. Somewhere around 20, low 20s. Ah, well, I must have got the, um, the timing belt done properly. I managed to drive three and a half hours from home to work. Oh, look at this. What's that? It's glass. It's shit everywhere. So yeah, timing belt was worked well. Went to Perth. Uh, no dramas. Starter motor. It played out once or twice when it was warm. It's not become a big issue yet. I'm not worried that it's not going to start. You see the key again and it engages, but obviously it's got to be done. And it's just a time factor. I've got to have time to do it. And uh, yeah, so apart from that, it's all going good. But I've got unloaded and I'm heading back to Perth. I'm empty now. Head back to Perth and get a second load and come back, unload that. And then I gotta head out uh, out the Great Central Road in a different truck with a mixed load of oil and diesel. Quite sure. Oh crikey, I knew you stepped in that. Who does that? Who the f does that? They had a shit right in the parking bay. Don't even bother to cover it or anything. Absolute pigs, mate. Absolute pigs.